Hey, what's up, guys? It's pretty early in the morning here. I'm getting ready for work. My hair's still wet, for Christ's sake. Um, I just wanted to post something real quick. Thank you, first off, to all the new subscribers, all the new, you know, um, likes, and all the comments, and just just everything. It was it's it's amazing. It really is. I appreciate you guys a lot. I love you guys very much. Just uh, be safe out there. Keep checking back, and I look forward to hearing from you. So, with that said, I want to move on to. A uh, quick thing before I go to work. Opinions. I want to move on to opinions. Yesterday or last night I did a video on Backstreet Boys' uh, new song. Now in the video I state that they can still sing. I'm kind of surprised they can sing better than anything I could ever do awake or asleep. <clears throat> I also made the comments that they were too old. They need to retire. They got a 20 year old in a music video that they're serenading which was kind of creepy. And, um, I made a joke that they probably broke their hip, you know, dancing. So, um, I also said that they should be looking for the next big thing. And yet, I, 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 I know people are going to leave hateful comments and ignorant shit back. But I, I was also kind of hoping that people had more sense than, um, what they have. And by that, I mean, people would go, that's his opinion. Okay. So he doesn't like this song, even though he's clearly stated he used to rock out to them back in the day to a few tracks that were really catchy. He doesn't, he doesn't like what he's seeing. He said he likes this song. He just doesn't like what he's seeing. I, I said they were irrelevant as well. By irrelevant, I don't mean no one knows who they are. They don't matter. I mean... Once, in my opinion, once you reach a certain age, and this goes for Ozzy Osbourne and Slash and Kiss and Rock Bands as well, Marilyn Mance and all that. Once you reach a certain age, you need to find the next big thing. You need to find the next Marilyn Manson, the next Ozzy Osbourne, the next Michael Jackson, the next Backstreet Boys. Once you reach a certain age, you need to find them. You know, when you reach a certain point in your career. So instead, of getting intellectual conversations, which I should have expected wasn't going to happen, considering the fan base is mostly young girls. Um, instead, I was getting crap, like, uh, I will die soon, I'm irrelevant, I'm old, I should retire. I got a lot of I should retires. And then I moved on to my chipped tooth uh, here. Like it's supposed to hurt my feelings. I know how I get the chipped tooth. Uh, a couple people told me to get a job, which is funny because I'm headed to work. So I just, I, I can't. Like the beauty of America is that everyone is free and entitled to think and say whatever they want. You don't always have to like it. And you're, you're entitled to say something back. And that's great. That's what makes this country great. But I'm not sitting there telling someone to fucking die. It's a huge difference. What kind of shitty individual do you have to be to tell someone to die over a boy band video because they had a different opinion? What kind of fucked up, sick individual leaves that kind of hateful comment? It just boggles my, boggles my mind. That's what I woke up to this morning. I woke up to a shit ton of messages on YouTube, a shit ton of comments of people just, you're, you're, you're stupid, you suck, you're ugly, you need to retire with your big ass gap in your teeth, uh, what, was, what was some of the other ones, uh, you're irrelevant, you're old, kill yourself, <laughs> and I'm just reading this shit, and I'm just... Really? And I responded to every single one of them. I ended up deleting the video just because I don't have enough hours in the day to deal with those idiots. And I'm just scrolling. I'm like, okay, this was just my opinion. I just, I think they should find the next big thing. That doesn't make me wrong for having an opinion. It doesn't make me right either. It just makes me have my own thought, which makes me a person. So how is that any different than you thinking they're fucking amazing? Oh, great, they're back. Wonderful. I'm glad they're back. You know, if they need money, cool. Cool, wonderful. If they're doing what they love, fantastic. I would love to be able to do what I love for the rest of my fucking life. I honestly would. But 
that is not how the world works. Some of us have to go out and work a nine to five job, then come back home, then get dressed and go back to their second job, while others can mooch off of mommy and daddy. Some of us don't have to do any of that. They just wake up rich. That's, that's life, man. So I just, in order for this world to change, we have to, I can't say you're going to get rid of all hatred because you're not. Hatred's always going to be out there. But you, you have to start realizing that people cannot like something that you like and you'll be okay. Yeah, you can sit there and say, well, I think you're wrong. And if you want to have an intellectual conversation and debate it with a person, <clears throat> by all means. If there's an actual way of debating, you cannot debate my opinion on whether I think they should retire. I think they should. The end. I think they should look for the next big boy band. You know? And there's nothing wrong with saying that. Now, I did say, I, I cracked a lot of jokes, and they were done in humor. Like I said, I mentioned, you know, how many times did somebody break a hip? The one dude looked like Snoop Dogg, but apparently that's been said about him for a while. And that it was creepy that there's a 20-year-old uh, in, in the video. And these guys are like in their 40s and 50s, and they're chasing after this 20-year-old girl. That's kind of creepy. But being a Backstreet Boys fan, I guess you're just going to go ahead and blindly look that. Uh, blindly look, overlook that and wish you were the 20-year-old girl they were chasing after. So... I just, I can't get over the, the, the amount of negative feedback from that. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm another human being. I eat shit, fart, and fuck. No different than the next person. You may not like spaghetti, and I might like spaghetti. But I'm not going to make fun of you for not liking it. I'm just going to move on with my day and go, oh, they don't like it, okay. They're allowed to not like it. It's no different than, than than not liking the new Backstreet Boys song. What the hell's wrong with you? What kind of fucked up individual do you have to be to sit there and tell someone to fucking die and just start trying to tear them apart when they had the balls enough to get on YouTube and put themselves out in the fucking world? As you sit behind your little computer or phone with your no picture have an ass and make fun of them. Saying something about their, their chipped tooth or, you know, their hairline or whatever. I mean, what, what, what's fucking wrong with you? Now, I'm not a sensitive guy because this world has taught me. If you're sensitive, this world will chew you up. But I am a logical guy. And I can't find the logic or reason behind why one human being would say that to another human being to fucking die you don't like them so now I'm going to try to make you feel as shitty as possible I don't like them leave it at that if you didn't like the video then get off the page if, if you didn't like what I had to say just realize I, I'm entitled to my opinion and go to the fucking fan page of theirs and just fucking dreamy eyes the whole fucking page you know <laughs> do that Maybe your day will be better. Because obviously you don't know how to love. And you have a lot of learning in this life. And I cannot wait for the day these people who leave these comments on my page make their own YouTube page. Or do something on social media to put themselves out there. And people start tearing them apart. I want you to see what it feels like. I want you to see how shitty it makes you feel especially when you read that first thing in the morning as soon as you open your eyes it's a horrible feeling so i deleted the video i don't delete many of my videos i didn't delete the little peep video because well it's just funny i loved what i did in the video with the, the screen cuts it was my first video where i did that so that video has some sort of a i don't know special place in my heart uh, it was the first time I did cutaways to movies and references, and um, it was my very first video I did that. So that's that's the main reason I didn't delete the low peep video. I just can't get over how fucked up individuals can be. Told me to fucking die. Told me I wasn't relevant either. And I, my response to them was, uh, well, I know that. Duh. Thanks for the view and making me more relevant now. 
then the other person that told me to die, uh, I think their name was Jen or something. My response was just this long thing. It was like, uh, it's called an opinion. I'm entitled to mine like you're entitled to yours. I never bashed them. I said, I think they're too old, and I think they need to find the best, next best thing. I also said they can sing better than I could in my dreams or even when I'm awake. Uh, their movements are too stiff now. It's not like they used to be. Probably shouldn't do close-up shots of their faces because you can see some serious lines. Like when I do my videos, I'm not like this, am I? No. You guys don't want to see my fucking pores. I never did understand that in music videos, close shots of that shit. That's fucking stupid. I don't, I don't need to see. I, it's like I'm, you're trying to show me your skull, and I don't need to. I don't need to ever see it. And then they continue to jump on my hairline, this, that, and the other. You know, old age happens. People get older. Every day you're awake, you get older. And to the young people watching this, remember, you're getting older. One day, you'll be that person while somebody else is chewing you down and just tearing you apart. Remember that. Because what goes around comes around. And when it comes around, it's usually tenfold. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyway, I'm going to try to go get this negative shit out of my head from these idiots. Um, to the people on my page that realize in my videos I try to keep as much humor, though sarcastic and witty, it's all humor. That I'm not literally meaning what I say of drinking bleach and I'd rather die. And I don't literally mean that. It's, it's for comedic purposes. And the people who are on my page that get that, there needs to be more people like you out in the world. For the people who you know, come to my page all the time and just keep up the good work, keep up the good work, you're doing great. Thank you, that, that means a lot. I think we need to build people up more than tearing them down, more than tearing them down. And the problem with the world is we're too busy tearing people down. You should probably check out my other video. Um, I talk about putting people on a pedestal in it. It's one of my really older videos. I think I'm wearing a flannel shirt, I think. It's not the Justin Timber. no, it's the Justin Timberlake video. I did a rant on the Justin Timberlake Super Bowl performance. And um, I think it's like a 20 minute video. Anywho, um, I completely forgot about the Predator uh, movie thingy, the movie trailer. I've yet to watch it. I'll try to do that today. I don't think it's going to be a super long video because uh, trailers usually aren't that long. But um, I'll try to do that today and see if I can make it a video if it's worth making into a video. By worth, I mean if it gets a good enough reaction. I don't want to upload something where I'm just like, okay, well, I'll, I'll see that when it comes out, and that's the video. I mean, that's a waste of fucking time, you know. If I upload something, I want it to be entertaining. I want you to be able to laugh at some things on it. You may not laugh at the whole thing, but I want you to laugh at some things, and I try to do that. So, anywho, I gotta get the fuck out of here. It is too early, and I got to get going for work. So, I'm going to take my fucked up shit too fast with my thin receding hairline and my fucking and my wrinkles and stuff. And I'm going to go fuck off. I got to go to work. So, you guys out there, stay safe. You know, today's Friday. You guys made it. It's the weekend. So, um, go work your day. Get off. Go out. Have a good time. Be safe. And um, try to stay out of trouble. And I love you guys. You guys take it easy.